Hello students. We have already learnt about peak control chart. Now we are going to learn a new control chart that is the NP chart. So this NP chart is also called as control chart for number non-conforming defective or number of defective so it is also called control chart for number non confirming defective that is the np chart so this chart is an extension of the p chart and it is more easier and faster than that of the p chart it is denoted by np so it is an extension of the p chart and is faster and easier than the p chart it is denoted by n p chart so this chart is easier for the operating personnel to understand so the operation people can easily understand this chart this chart is easy to understand by the operation so here the inspection results are posted directly without any calculation so in this chart calculation is not required in this type of chart the inspection results are directly posted without any calculation since charts for number defective is mathematically equivalent to the charts of fraction defective the process average that is the control value and the control limits change by a factor of n that is the sample size so this chart that is np chart and p chart are varying only by the sample size n so they vary only by this factor otherwise they are mathematically equal the control value or the process average and the control limits are changing by factor n so the process average for np chart can be written as np dash is equals to np bar that is the fraction defective that is equal to sigma of np divided by m that is the number of samples now the upper control limit or the control limit for np is given as np bar plus or minus 3 into root of np bar to 1 minus p bar so the upper control limit is np bar plus 3 into root of np bar 
into 1 minus p bar. So, here if you divide this root the, the divided by the number of sample then it will give the upper control limit for p chart. But here as we are considering only the number of defectives not the fraction defectives the factor n has to be completely omitted. So this is how we calculate the control limits for this NP chart. Since the number of defective is a whole number, the control limit values must be a whole number. But the process average can be a fraction. So as the NP is dealing with dealing with number of defectives which is a whole number the control limits must also be a whole number but the process average can be a fraction so now we have already seen the construction of the p chart the construction of np chart is also same so here we will draw a horizontal line and a vertical line and the intersection of these two lines we will mark it as p bar which is the fraction defective then on this vertical line we will draw a discontinuous line at the calculated or the convenient scale location we will draw a line which we will mark as UCL or upper control limit for the NP chart then lower control limit also at a convenient position we will mark and this way we have formed the basic NP chart then below this lower control limit we will mark another line where we will mark the number of samples so one so if this is the chart this is p dash this is upper control limit for np and this is lower control limit for np and here we will mark one more solid line and we will mark the number of samples here 1 2 3 4 5 and so on till number of samples then we will mark the lines according to this sample size and after we have calculated the values of NP for a given number of samples we will mark the values on this vertical lines which we have drawn from this sample sizes so if this is np1 this is np2 this is np3 and somewhere here there is np4 we will cross these points or we will circle these points and we will cross the points which go above the control limit so here np4 is going above the control limit the same way we are going to mark the points for different sample sizes and then we will connect them with the straight lines one after the other so you can see that np4 is well above the control limit so in this way after we have finished the marking we have to now analyze what kind of process this is the analysis of the np chart is similar to that of the p chart 
np chart for process is same as p chart so in the p chart we have seen that if all the values of np1 np2 np3 and so on are within the control limits then the process is said to be under statistical control if all the values of np are within the control limits then the process is said to be under statistical control if any of the points are crossing the upper control limit like this point np4 is crossing the upper control limit then the process is not under statistical control and it indicates presence of assignable causes if any of the points crosses the upper control limit it indicates the presence of assignable causes and also that the process is out of control so merely by looking at the charts we will be able to understand if the process is under control or it is out of control so if any of the points are crossing the lower control limit so this is the lower control limit and if you find that some of the points are going below the lower control limit then we can say that the process requires improvement and we have to find the reason for what the point has gone below the lower control limit and the process must be improved accordingly i'll simply write lcl instead of lower control limit of the np chart it indicates the process needs improvement and reason for this has to be found and process must be improved so this is all about the np chart which is similar to that of the p chart i hope you have understood the topic thank you